In this episode of Skit Show Friendly, you find out why we're laughing, Walmart security, the talent of Las Vegas, national alarm security conspiracy theories. This, this is the smooth sounds of Rick and Dadius production. I'm excited about this episode because we're just winging it. Are we winging it up? This is the day before a special event in America. This is the day before everybody goes nuts. Yes, we, we, we're a little worried about it. By the time you see this episode, you would know what happened. But we don't. We don't right now. And all I can do is hope for the best. But I can tell you what I'm thinking. What you thinking? Yeah. Well, first of all, they don't know what, what, what we're thinking. So tomorrow on October the 4th, there's doing a national, some type of al- alarm system, a test that is going to hit every single technology. Every phone, every TV, every radio, every, every ceiling fan, every, every light. I don't know. If your shoes light up. Take them off. I wanted to see the see what happens. <laughs> no. I've seen Kingsman. No. My fault. Fo- hey, trust me. I'm not a huge conspiracy theorist. I'm not a huge, like, this is that and this is where it is. But I tell you what, my stuff will be turned off tomorrow. I've seen Kingsman. They were trying to kill. They, they were trying to kill their family. And think about it. You scared me when you say that because I'm starting thinking like, dang, we don't know if if, if they was actually going to do that. They're not going to just tell us. So like, check this out. I'm not trying to be ridiculous and say, oh, if you leave your phone turn on, you just gonna go crazy tomorrow and start foaming at the mouth and start licking bananas. No, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I think that it is very possible that psychologically over time, this noise or whatever that they omit tomorrow is going to come out could do some damage later on down the line enough damage to whenever they decide to do whatever it is that they're going to do later on down the line 10 years five years eight years seven years two weeks whatever you're going to be too weak to fight it oh man it's like oh, i wish i never it's like everybody's just going to come by they just went to the woods when that that, that alarm went off everybody's going to be scared or aka everybody's going to get like mentally sick start seeing stuff that they're not even supposed to be seeing and they're going to they're going to offer you this type of cure and their cure is going to keep you in that state yeah forever and ever weak enough for everybody that can be controlled <laughs> can you imagine the movie the movie would be called this is a test the movie would never get made because it would have to get made by people who weren't affected by the thing <laughs> <laughs> and once they make that movie, they gonna go and find those people. They'll be like, "Who made this movie? <laughs> Why was it made?" They're gonna go to all the studios and they're gonna extort them by the ankles <laughs> on the ceiling and be like, "Who came to you with this script? <laughs> Who knows this information?" All right, we got five minutes. Are you ready? We really think it's gonna be that dangerous. Are you serious? Do you know how much research I've done on this? I guess, man. You're right. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, man. Five hours of TikTok videos. This shit is legit. You know what we got to do then, right? Let's make some calls. Yeah, hold on. All right. I got you. I got you. Let me start. Let me start. Let me start. Let me start. Hey, boss. Hey. I'm the one to filter that money from the client's account. Good luck getting the money back, bitch. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. I got you. All right. Hey, yeah, here. Hey, boo. What are you doing? Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Guess what? I fucked your sister. What? And your mom. Damn. What? And your dad. Oh, oh, all right. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey. Oh, I've always wanted to tell that. We'll visit that another time. We wanted to talk about that. Oh, call, call Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm going to call Jimmy. I'm going to call Jimmy. Hold on. Yo. Hey, yo, Jimmy. Yeah, what's going on, man? I'm the reason why your parents got divorced. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I fucked your dad. Hey, hey, hey. Jimmy, what to my father? Hey, hey, man. What about this father fucking that we talking about? Get it off my chest. Oh my god! You feel normal? I feel normal. What's two plus two? Four? Four. Oh fuck! Did you see that video of that woman on the news? And she was saying, there was a, make an announcement that it's going to be every device. That if you have kids at home that are trying to sleep, turn off every uh, device. Oh, yeah, the lady. And, and, and she said, it's she made a remark to the people who were in abusive relationships. She said, if you have a burner phone, hide it. Turn it off. Yeah. Like, can you imagine, like, a husband who beats his wife, like, watching the news and looking at her like... <laughs> Like, you ain't got no other phones out here, do you? <laughs> Especially the people that smuggling cell phones in prison. 
<laughs> My thing is, what if like what is the sound? Is it gonna be a sound? Is it gonna be just like like an amber alert? What what would you do? I'm carrying somebody. It no. makes me want to like. No. Hmm. What would you do if you turned your phone off and your TV off, and then Ava was like, "Cool, that's fine," and then Ava went in there and turned her shit on, right? And then she went zombie crazy. And the See, only thing you could do was, at the very least, at the very least, you ain't gotta kill her, but at the very least, you gotta knock her out. Yeah, I mean, tell the truth, I'll just stay away from her. You can't, bro. If she so like so it, like it, so it, like it, you seen you seen Kingsman? Yes. They strong. Yeah. Once that thing once that thing hits you, <laughs> it's over. That door coming down, brother. <laughs> that 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 little girl is gonna be bleeding from the knuckles trying to get this door. Down. <laughs> Yo, if I, I would be in here, so I would literally just climb out the window. And if, not, if I'm in the restroom, I would climb out the restroom. You rest- would rather climb out the door than to knock, knock her out? I would not knock my daughter. I, listen, she, I, I, I would, if anything, I would like open the door. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll open the door and then she'll rush in and I'll spin around and run out the restroom. I'll close the door on her and I'll run out and get my car because I'll drive to Walmart. Because that, that is the safe spot for zombie apocalypse. I'm going to tell you one thing. If shit start going crazy, I'm definitely calling you. <laughs> You're going to have to. I'm like, so like, I'm going to be, I'm gonna be the only person that's going to be able to get it done. <laughs> I'm like, I know. T did not watch it. <laughs> and, like, can you imagine? But, but I don't know, man. And that's the thing. I can't imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. And I'm going to let you know right now. If I ever figure out there's no reverse. Like, if it's like a zombie thing. Like, once you bit, you bit. <laughs> knocking that little nigga out. <laughs> I'm not. Hey. hey you know, you know, my my son. son. My son is getting... Molly Watt, my daughter. <laughs> like, check this out. I'm nice though. I'm nice though. I'm not just like, oh, it's over. It's over. No, I'm the type of guy that's like, hey, fight it. Hey, you're stronger than this. Hey, don't do this. Don't do this. Once my life is in danger and I know there's no other way, it's like him or me type shit. There's no. You have to let go of the thought of, but it's my child, you know, because once you're dead, they're going to go kill other shit. There's no bright future for them anymore. But never know. Maybe, maybe the, the, it, this is one of those viruses or something that could be uh, cured. And you're it. You're the last one, huh? <laughs> so you think somebody else ain't gonna put? Okay, listen, we're gonna find out tomorrow if something like this happened. You guys probably would never have seen this. Well, maybe the maybe a hundred years later, when, when when y'all dug up. <laughs> remember, remember, I said knock out. I'm not killing my kids. They can. I just. I'm just knocking them out. <laughs> and then I'm getting out of that jam. Everybody okay. else gotta go. Check this out. I don't know who watches America's Got Talent or not. America's Got Talent is known for having like you know nice acts. We we'll watch the auditions to laugh yeah. at the bad ones. Yeah. Over the few last seasons and years, they stopped showing so many bad ones because there actually is quite a bit of talent, and people are doing old stuff new ways. Okay. okay. So like all this dancing shit is becoming like elevated, and it's more mesmerizing, like a hypnotizing thing. There's more people involved, like a sixty-person yeah. dance group, so that they can do illusions. Yeah. Waves and illusions and stuff. So, that being said, this year was full of damn talented shit. Like damn, damn. Okay. And of course, you had your singers that had you know the Good back voices. the backstory. Yeah. Okay. Three Japanese dance groups, a little girl that's a magician, and a dog, and a guy from the Ukraine. A dog. A dog. Okay. And a guy from the Ukraine. So most dog acts, you know, you know, it's it's the person and they're jumping through like hoops. And obstacles and like doing like tricks, stuff like that. So this dog and this guy, what they do is they tell stories. What the guy does is the guy does a lot of stuff that the dog has to interact with in order for the story to make sense. Okay. But it looks like a movie that's rated PG that they have an acting dog to do stuff that okay, only yeah. they do in the movies. So it's cute on stage. Oh, hmm. He should have been in tenth place though, because you know it's. Yeah. I'm not paying to go see that in Vegas. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> For anyone who likes that type of stuff, but it's not. I will watch it's, that in the street. <laughs> it's not something you pay to go see a live production of. Let's go watch the dog. <laughs> you can't watch that for an hour. 
You can watch it for a performance, one performance. After that, it's like, what else are you doing? What other stories are you telling here? I'm sorry. No, it's all right. So, but turns out he was part of like the top five against some of the crispiest dancers I've ever seen in my life. Okay. You know, I'm a dancer. Yeah. So like, of course I'm slightly biased, but without my bias in the middle of it, you can check the comments of America. These people that were left were the crispiest, silliest, weirdest, it's three different ones. One of them was weird. And they didn't even come out. They're all girls, and they didn't even come out on stage without doing this. <laughs> oh, you mean them, that kind of people? Yeah. They walked like this the whole time. And then they... The oh, whole yeah. Time, and it was, the whole time. They stayed in character the whole time. Okay? But their dancing was phenomenal. People with the hands, they do this type of stuff. But the way that they were moving, the way that they were moving was like hypnotizing. Ridiculous. Okay. So there's these two African brothers that do this stuff. Okay. They be on their head. Okay. You know, another one, they be on top of each other's heads. Okay. Like this and stuff. Like oh, that. shit. Literally, there's one head on a head and they just balancing on stuff and walking up steps and backwards, back up the steps. They're doing a great job. Okay. They lose. Next. Ooh. Okay. It's like, okay, so now what we're looking at already. I wonder where they're headed to now. Right. <laughs> Better go on ahead. <laughs> <laughs> now what we're looking they're at. They're headed home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least they, at least they got head. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and hit on out. <laughs> nah, like so now <laughs> it was hard headed. <laughs> Didn't listen to coach. <laughs> what we looking at? Oh, that loss gave him a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas uh, gotta go talk to the uh, head of state. <laughs> <laughs> okay, finish. <laughs> <laughs> now what we looking at is the dog act. Okay. Which everybody thought would have been way gone by now. Okay, okay. We're looking at the dog act, the little girl. The little girl's not that good either, by the way. She can do magic or whatever, but she's not doing nothing wild. And she's nervous, and she says that she's nervous. She did tricks on two different performances and didn't even know she was going to get them correct. Ooh. Said them after. She was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know. That was so cool. Like, okay, well, I'm not paying to see you. <laughs> Right. Like, you go, if I pay thirty dollars, you see your ass you pay, fuck up. You pay more than that. This is a Vegas show. Oh. Cheap seats is like seventy five bucks. That's a cheap seat. Oh uh, yeah, no. It's like seventy five bucks when you go to Vegas. And now we got the last dance group is the people. Yeah. We're like, oh, they win. They win. Eliminated. Oh. So now top two is Shorty Magic and Dude with the Dog. <laughs> what the? So we're like, you know what? All right, fuck it. I guess Shorty Magic, because you know America's Got Talent. Magic be winning. All right, Shorty Magic, cool. And the winner is the dude with the dog. The dude with the fucking dog. There was a guy on there that was handicapped, couldn't talk, had like cerebral palsy or something, can't talk. Mm -hmm. Told jokes with his phone. Oh, his phone would be on the megaphone, and that's how he told jokes. He was hilarious. He lost. All right, so we got uh, James here. Um, uh, and I see you're going to dance. Okay, James, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. yeah. All right, go ahead. Ooh. All right, all right. So it, it was all right. You did a little, you, you, you was pretty good. It was all right. Uh, you kind of got it. You kind of don't. You do, you don't. Maybe. But you know what? We'll go ahead and let you do it. All right, next up we have yeah. Billy, and you have a dog, I see. Oh, it's a cute dog. <laughs> no, that is a cute it dog. Is he, he is. is he? he is. Yeah. Yeah. You can go ahead and do what you're going to do. Okay. Come here, Abby. Come here. Stand. Bark. Pee on the ground. Poop. Fart. Do something. God. How in the world? Could you think that you could come here? What are you thinking? I'm thinking the same thing. Yes, I'm thinking. Yeah, that is what I'm thinking. Are you thinking? We've seen enough. We've seen enough. 
thinking. Are you thinking? That is what I'm thinking. Do it. Do it. You know what I'm thinking? Go buzzer! Oh. Hmm. To them. To the guy with the dog. So first of all, speaking of which, nothing cut you off. That have you seen a sphere? Yeah. The inside of the sphere. Listen. That place is terrifying. It's all terrifying. <laughs> the whole sphere just in heaven because how it looks like now. It's like, no, listen. Being that they have uh, prices, I've never been inside of it. So they, they show the video inside. Now the outside, you see. It, wait, so you're you ain't seen so, the inside. Okay, so like, wait, 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 wait. So the inside. If you go inside of it, you feel like you're the in, whole surrounding in something. Yes. So they change. So the surrounding on the inside is digital. I yes. And they can change it to stuff. Yes. And you feel like you're standing in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Whatever. When, they, when, when I say nothing, I mean space. Yes. Like, so they had the, 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 the first performance was YouTube. That is absolutely terrifying. Yeah. So the first one was YouTube, and then they they were in like heaven. It was all around, it, it, like the crowd looked like you know, because it was literally all around. The crowd was just like it looked like they were in the sun. <laughs> and then they had another picture when it was like digitized, digital f numbers. It was almost like the Matrix, but if the Matrix was gay. <laughs> so it was a bunch of fruity numbers. Yeah, it was very colorful numbers. <laughs> it, it went. And it looked like it was going up, but I guess the numbers got smaller the more it got to the dome. So it made it look like it was like straight right, up. Right, 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 right. It looked like it was just Kim going and, yeah. going and like leaving you. Yeah. But it was just getting, oh. But see, that's what I was trying to tell you. Yeah. They have those, but it's 3D. Boo! I was so mad when I went to the the, 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 the nearest place. <laughs> the nearest play room was in Davenport. And I, I, I was like, oh, this is going to be a, a, a actual 4D Stop. experience Stop. with the IMAX. I was not impressed. There was like, yes. extra, there was like extra bass. I'm like, okay. Boo. <laughs> I was so pissed off. We nah. were so excited nah, to go saw, see uh, Avatar. Nah, I saw a video. And I showed you the video. You remember that video? These people was in the theater and the wolves was biting. <laughs> The wolves was fake. Like, can you imagine going to a, a, a like they're making it so real, you getting attacked? By fucking... <laughs> imagine going right, and everything just looks cool. They're like, wow, wow, wow. And then the first wolf comes, and it's the only thing that looks like it's really real. It's like you can tell everything else is digital, but then this wolf comes out, and it's like, oh goddamn, where the wolf come from? Oh yeah, I it's, see that. You, you, it was like, where the wolf come from? I hope it, I, I hope the motherfucker trained. <laughs> right. I'm Shame. Like you see that, and then, he, and then he attacks, attacks the first dude. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! And then next thing you know, it's thirty wolves <laughs> attacking the audience, attacking everybody. <laughs> at first, at first you think like, is this part of the show? <laughs> and then, and so. <laughs> Is it, is it part of the show? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the lights come on. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Show you bring me too. What the fuck is this? <laughs> You're like, oh my god, this looks so real. <laughs> like, so <laughs> like, I'm glad we didn't sit by the aisle. <laughs> and what's next? They have, they have a, a, a four or 5D porno and <laughs> have a dude come out <laughs> jacking off right next to you. They had to practice that for a long time because the people, some of the people are real that were getting attacked. Yeah. They're like actors and actresses. How long do you have to act? 
a practice for to act like you're getting attacked by like something that's not there, but it totally looks like, <laughs> like it looks like it fucking them up, y'all. Like if you ain't never seen this video, Wait, was the wolves real? No, they're fake. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Oh shit, <laughs> they look so real, and they're just running around, and everybody's like, it, it, it's the actors that sold it for me because like if you look at the background, some of that snow look fake. Where's this place at again? It's in China. It's oh, in China. yeah, okay. Uh, you saw the video. Yeah. They actually legit look like something went wrong. Wolves got loose. <laughs> and the show is now over and can't nobody move. It looked like everybody's too scared to move. People are actually screaming in the video. <laughs> People are screaming, but it's fake. It's like, it's, they called it like 4D or something. And it's literally... I'd rather do that than your thing, though. What? Your thing is a fear of mine. <laughs> what? Imagine being in that sphere. Oh, yeah. And then you see a face. <laughs> just head. Just <laughs> head. Yeah. Dude, I pass out. Can you imagine, like, going to sleep and then waking up in that, that sphere and nobody told you? No. No. I'd be a bitch that day. <laughs> be in somebody's chest like this. Turn it off. <laughs> Y'all didn't tell me we was doing this. Oh, that shit is terrifying. I would love, but at the same time, I'd love to be inside of one of those oh, yeah. once, and only once. And I, I actually would probably close my eyes for a while, but then I'd open my eyes and look. <laughs> like, oh, this ain't that bad. And then that'd be the one time they show me a face. <laughs> Like, fuck you niggas. <laughs> I would never see a horror movie in something like that. I wouldn't go to like a horror experience in the sphere. You know they got one. Oh yeah. You know they got that. It's Vegas. Listen, if I if we were going there like this weekend, I would try to get the next show. I wouldn't care if it was scary because it's hard. It's around Halloween time. Play zombies in the sphere. Oh, play, yeah. play Call of Duty zombies in the sphere. Oh yeah. I'd do that. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Could you imagine if they like made that whole inside sphere like into a a, a Call of Duty playground, but it's for oh, paintball? Nah, yeah, nah, I go. And, and they make it like look like you're in a freaking thing because that whole background. That would be awesome. Are there seats in there? Yeah, there's seats. you're seated. Yeah, there's so it's like IMAX, but yeah. it's the Vegas version. Yeah, it's, it's where performers go. And they can have like uh, the whole place be the background, so it, it, it looks awesome. Like it looks like a good place to, to for a performer. It's around you. Yeah, it's around. There's literally every single around surrounding is that. That's scary. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Now, we were talking about something in Walmart. But how they always fucking make me download fucking apps. <laughs> bro, we was in line for 26 minutes, bro. Trying to download the app to download the app for the app just to pay for some shit. That was super irritating. And then didn't even leave with the receipt. So if we would have got stopped, there would have been a whole another fiasco. You know what I don't mind? People get so mad by showing your receipt. Listen, to be honest, I don't care. There's those, those people that get mad because like, uh, they don't like doing a, a self checkout. Go in the, the line where, where, where there's a human being then. Like those self checkouts, I was always hoping they had because sometimes I, I didn't know if I had enough money. <laughs> so I was like, man, I'm gonna look stupid in line. I don't have enough I, I, enough money to, to pay for anything. And then I said, I, I, I'm gonna be like a, a two dollars short, or it's gonna be it's gonna go over twenty dollars. I'm like, hey, can you put that back? I can't put that. I, I didn't feel like I hated that that feeling. So so when they have self check, I'm like, yes. Yeah, so I can just do this myself, and nobody gonna, gonna watch me if I if I fuck up. When it starts to get over, I'm like, yep, that's it. <laughs> and nobody gonna watch me. I, there's no embarrassment. That'll be three forty-five, sir. But I only got twenty items. How how was it that much? Are you broke or something, sir? No, 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 no. I got it. Oh, hell no. This motherfucker got a food stamp card. Is that a food stamp card, sir? Are you a food stamp? It's temporary. And can you mind your business? Here. Your food stamp card declined, sir. <laughs> nah, man. His card declined and this shit. We ain't got time for this. I got cash right here. It's giving broke energy for me. So if you broke and you can't pay $600 on your food stamp card, just say that. $600? How did it go so fast? Why are you worried about the price? Come on, man, we ain't got all day. Are you talking mad? Please, everybody, just 
Give me a shit. You know what? How about we put some of this stuff oh, back? You want us to put it back? Like, 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 I, I don't need that. Please. I don't need that. I'm not putting nothing back either. Shut up, man. Just get out of line. Just get out of line. I'll just leave. People get so upset when they ask to see a shit. Who gives a... Listen, I don't care. Here's my receipt. I'm on every side of this argument. Here's my thing. When it comes to the self checkout line, mm -hmm. I use it when I want to be in a hurry. Yeah. I think it's faster. Yeah. And that's cool. Yeah. Sometimes you don't feel like waiting in a long line. Sometimes the people behind the cash register are a little slower than you. Yeah. Sometimes you want to be in control of how fast this experience takes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't feel like doing that shit either, though. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you feel like just putting it on the line and letting them bring it up, give them your card. And it's, it's the bagging process for me, specifically. Mm -hmm. When you go to a real person, somebody's bagging your shit for you. Yeah. You do it on the self-checkout line, you have to do it yourself. So... It kind of depends on how much stuff I have. Yeah. But for that specific part, neither here nor there for me. But this check and receipt business. Now, <clears throat> if I buy a TV, an Xbox, headphones that are expensive, like Beats headphones, just any other, go ahead and check my receipt. If I got $250 worth of groceries, leave me the fuck alone. It took me an hour and a half to get <laughs> all of these groceries, first of all. Second of all, what are you actually checking for in my grocery cart? There are no electronics in here. <laughs> are you really trying to are you really reading all of these items? No, you're not. Are you trying to see if I snuck in a couple of boxes of fruit? That's a little petty. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's just extra. Now now, that being said, I will never be one of those people who pull up my phone and be like, let me speak to your manager. Do you stop everybody who has these tickets or are you doing this because I'm black? I'm tired of people trying to check my receipt and you're not even behind this cash register. You should be doing your job if you really want to figure out how much stuff I really paid for in here. I will never be that person. <laughs> it is annoying. It is an inconvenient. Yeah, I get it. But once you get like you little, if you have a point to get across, which I never have to argue with them. I just let it be and go. But if you feel like you're one of those persons that absolutely have to say something, go ahead and say what you got to say and go ahead. Because like Mouse said, nobody's finna clap for you. <laughs> this is not a superhero moment for you. <laughs> this is not a you're standing up one and for all. And we're all tired of Walmart and Walmart shit. <laughs> and now you have to hear about your shit. <laughs> they don't care. They're mad that you're taking 20 minutes to do that. And as soon as you leave, they're going to talk about your ass. Mm -hmm. And this video ain't going to do nothing but go viral. And Walmart will still be checking all of your receipts. If it's super petty and you think, like, just because you're pissed off about it, everybody, everybody else, else is pissed off. And then you just make a whole scene about something so stupid that can be handled so easily. Like, you, you you're not going to go, like, you're not going to go super viral for the right reason. <laughs> and that's the thing. Some people don't even have that strong of a feeling about mm. what they freaking out about. Mm. They want to be seen and they hope that it is such a big problem that they're the one person that's seen as the guy who, who stood, stood up to change that problem. You don't even really understand the problem, <laughs> sir. Because what you're talking about ain't even the problem. Here's my thing. Like, I get the, I get the, also, the inconvenience. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, who's going to get behind a register? <laughs> there's not a lot of people, a, if y'all not, did not notice, there's a lot of people that's not working. Yeah. <laughs> Especially after COVID. Yeah. After COVID happened, a lot of people ain't working. I'm like, all right, are you going to get behind those registers? <laughs> think, about, think about it. Everywhere that there's a self checkout now, right, has about eight eight usually maybe even 10 in like one little section in that one section that you got 10 self checkout lines you can only fit about two actual person checkout lines to take up that space but if you can have 10 people getting the fuck about that dough right then and right there opposed to two people getting one person at a time out of that dough you might as well go ahead and utilize uh, the machine for that <laughs> I don't like that they're necessarily taking jobs, but at the same time, what job are they taking if nobody wants to work? Facts. Gotta want to work, man. With that said, we are going to close off this show. That this was Skit Show's Frantic. My name is Young Smiggity. And I am Stephen Mouse. Holla at your boy.